Still in the Cave of Skulls, Ian, Barbara, and Susan try to escape. However, the doctor seems disconsolate and unhelpful. Ian reprimands him, prompting the doctor to suggest that they use the bones of the dead to cut the ropes that bind their hands and legs. The group begins to unify. Back at the main cave, the tribe is asleep. The female elder wakes up. She steals Zah's knife and heads towards the cave of skulls. Unbeknownst to the old woman, her has seen her. When she arrives at the cave of skulls, she is met by a large stone that blocks the door. However, she seems to know an alternate route. Inside the cave of skulls, the doctor and the others are trying to free Ian so he can defend them if needed. Susan screams as the elder bursts through a gap in the undergrowth that blocks the cave. Her wakes Za and calls him out of the cave to inform him that the elder took his knife and headed out of the cave. They decide she went to the cave of skulls. Her believes the elder is afraid of fire, so she will kill the four to prevent the tribe from learning the secret. However, the elder is using the knife to free the four, whilst outside Za and her try to move the stone. Just as the stone budges, the four escape out the back of the cave. Za, frustrated, throws the elder to the floor. Her convinces Za that the only way he will retain the tribe's leadership is by capturing the doctor and harnessing the fire. Za and her plunge into the forest in pursuit of the doctor. The four are lost in the forest, trying to find their way back to the TARDIS. Yet again, Ian and the doctor fall out as Ian takes the lead. Whilst they argue, Barbara trips and falls. She lands on a dead boar and screams which alerts Za and her. The movement of the undergrowth impels the doctor and his companions to hide. While Za and her catch up with them, Za is attacked by a wild beast and is injured badly. Against the doctor's wishes, Barbara and Ian try to help Za. The doctor tries to stop Susan from going, insinuating that he would leave Ian and Barbara behind. Ian and Barbara help Za, much to her's bemusement. She does not understand the idea of friendship, and is openly hostile to Susan, thinking she is trying to steal Za from her. The doctor picks up a stone and makes for Za but Ian stops him. The doctor claims that he was going to get Za to draw a map with the stone showing the way to the TARDIS. The doctor reminds his companions that the tribe elder is still with the cavemen. He worries she may wake them and set off in pursuit of the travelers. Ian builds a makeshift stretcher to carry Za back to the TARDIS to heal him there. Back at the settlement, Cal has returned to the cave to find it empty. He questions the prostrate elder, who says she set the doctor and his companions free. Cal kills her. He returns to the tribe to inform them that it was Za who let the doctor free so he could keep fire to himself. The tribe are skeptical and Cal says the elder will back him up. When Cal returns to the cave to discover the dead elder, he says it must have been Za who killed her. Cal declares himself leader and takes his new tribe off to find Za. The doctor and his companions happily find the TARDIS. However, their escape attempt is foiled when they see the tribesmen appear. They turn to flee but they find the way blocked by Cal and the other tribesmen.